In this video, we will focus on the mathematical language and symbol, the language of sets. So what do we mean by set? A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. It usually represented by capital letters, so when we are writing the name of the set, we must use capital letters. So, gagamit tayo ng capital letters in naming a set. The objects of a set are separated by commas. For us to separate the elements in a given set, o yung mga makikita natin sa loob ng set natin, we have to use comma. The objects that belong in a set are the elements or members of the set. So, ang tawag natin doon sa makikita natin sa loob ng set ay members or elements. It can be represented by listing its elements between braces. So, we have to use braces in writing a set. A set is said to be well-defined if the elements in a set are specifically listed. So, what do we mean by well-defined? So, example, I have here set A, the set of vowels, so we can easily give or list the elements na tinatanong. So, halimbawa, the set of vowels in the English alphabet, so we have A, E, I, O, U. Okay, the set of plain figures, the set of elements in periodic tables. So, those are examples of well-defined sets. Now, what do we mean by not well-defined? So, let's say for example, the set of uh, beautiful girls in school. So, the, world the word beautiful, uh, yun yung nag, um, nagsasabi na ang set natin ay not well-defined because uh, iba-iba tayo ng perception or description, definition ng beautiful. What if for me, she's the prettiest? And then, para sa kanya, merong mas maganda. So, that is an example of not well-defined set. Unlike well-defined, hindi kagaya ng well-defined, we can easily give the elements. Now, notation. This notation means that x is an element of s. So, how do we read this? This is, this means that x is an element of s. So, as you can see, the name of our set is written in capital letter. And this symbol means element. Okay? Another, this means that x is not an element of S. So, this symbol means this is not an element. So, ayun lang. Meron lang siyang slash. Okay? And then, our uh, the name of the set is written using, using capital letter. Now, a variation of notation is used to describe a very large set. Example, I have here 1, 2, 3, and so on up to 100. So, it refers to the set of all integers from 1 to 100. So, uh, given by the example, kung i-define -de natin siya, i-describe -de natin siya, yung laman ng set natin o yung elements na nasa loob ng set natin, ibig sabihin dito, paano siya dinescribe -de dito? All integers from 1 to 100. Bakit? Kasi nag-start siya sa 1, nag-end siya sa 100. Another. So, I have here this one. So, it refers to the set of all positive integers. So, bakit kaya ganito ang description niya? Set of all positive integers. Bakit? Kasi wala siyang last element. Hindi siya nag-end. Hindi siya nagtapos. So, ibig sabihin, this is the set of all positive integers integers. Now, the symbol, itong three dots natin, is called an ellipsis and is read and so forth. Okay. Ang ellipsis, ginagamit natin siya kung ang elements mo ay masyadong marami sa loob ng isang set. Halimbawa, ito. So, hindi na niya nilagay yung uh, elements from 4 to 99. So, pwede naman yun. Basta ilagay mo yung last element mo. And then this one, hindi niya na nilagay yung lahat ng positive integers kasi that is infinite. So, you can make use of the ellipsis. Okay, using the set roster notation, a set may be specified using the set roster notation by writing all elements between braces. Example, let A be 1, 2, 3, your set B is 3, 1, 2, and your C is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. Now, what are the elements of A, 
B and C. How are A, B, and C related? Okay, so A, B, and C have exactly the same three elements, which is your 1, 2, 3. So, itong A natin, si B at si C, pare-pareho silang may 1, 2, 3. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, uh, hindi natin nilagay yung dalawang 1 because... Uh, we're writing the common elements or yung kapag nagde-describe tayo without repetition. So, therefore, A, B, and C are simply represented in different ways. Now, is 0 enclosed by the braces is equal to 0? No. They are not equal because this set is represented as a set with one element. Ano yung element niya? 0. Well, this one is represented by the number of elements. So, kung uh, bibilangin natin yung elements na nasa loob ng set natin, meron siyang isang element which is 0. So, dapat, this is 1. So, again, how many elements are in the set 1 and 1 enclosed by the braces? So, the set 1, comma, 1 enclosed by the braces has two elements, 1 and the set whose only element is 1. Now, for each non-negative integer n, let u sub n is equal to n, comma, negative n. Now, let us find u sub 1, u sub 2, and u sub 0. So, all you have to do is to substitute the values to the n, okay? So, u sub 1, that will become 1, negative 1. For u sub 2, that is 2, negative 2. And then for u sub 0, we have 0 and negative 0. Now, we all know that we do not have negative 0. So, therefore, we will have 0, comma, 0. Now, since um, in a given set, we are not allowing repetition. So, therefore, we can only have 0. Okay. Some important sets are the following. So, we have to be familiarized with these uh, terms, terminologies, and symbols dahil uh, pwede natin siyang magamit sa mga examples natin sa sets. So, N stands for the set of natural numbers. W is the set of whole numbers. Z is the set of integers. Q, the set of rational numbers, which includes terminating or repeating decimals. Q prime is the set of irrational numbers, non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. R is the set of real numbers and C, the set of complex numbers. So in set builder notation, let S denote and let P of X be a property that elements of S may or may not satisfy. We define a new set to be the set of all elements x in S such that P of x is true. So, how are we going to represent or to illustrate the set of all elements x in S such that P of x is true? So, this is the, this is how we denote the given statement, okay? So, this is read as the set of all elements x in S such that P of x is true. Okay, now, given that, that R, the set of all real numbers, Z, the set of all integers, and this symbol is the set of all positive integers, now let us try to describe the following set. So, we have three examples. So, let's have the first one. So, this is the set of all elements X in real numbers such that x is greater than negative 2 but less than 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung elements daw natin ay mas mataas sa negative 2 pero mas mababa sa 5. So, this is the open interval of real numbers between negative 2 and 5. So, pag sinabing between, nag-meet sila sa gitna. Okay? So, it is pictured as follows. Okay? So, I have here our x daw, our elements, I mas mataas sa negative 2. So, kung mas mataas siya sa negative 2, pa-right yung graph natin dyan. And then, mas mababa sa 5, pa-left naman. So, nag-meet sila sa gitna, kaya between. Okay? Now, negative 2 and positive 5 are not part of elements in a given set. Bakit? So, as you can see, nung pinakita natin siya sa illustration, it is not solid. 
Okay, it is hollow. Ibig sabihin, empty yung circle natin. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi siya kasama sa elements. Okay? Next. So, I have here, this is the set of all elements x in the set of integers such that x is less than negative 2 but uh, is greater than rather, is greater than negative 2 but less than positive 5. Okay, so siguro yung iba nalilito kung paano to binabasa ha. This is x is greater than. Okay, now so ganun pa rin, ang elements daw natin ay mas mataas sa negative 2 but less than positive 5. So ito naman ngayon ay set of integers. So, what are the elements? Okay? So, this is the set of all integers between negative 2 and 5. It is equal to the set negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, kasi ang sabi, mas mataas sa negative 2. So, starts tayo sa negative 1. And then, mas mababa sa 5. So, matatapos siya sa 4. Okay? Since ang sabi naman ay set of integers. Another so, I have here the set of elements x in positive of uh, positive integers such that x is greater than negative 2 but less than 5. So, ito naman ngayon, kukunin ulit natin yung mga elements na mas mataas sa negative 2 at mas mababa sa 5. Pero, ang condition niya, positive integers na lang tayo dito. Okay? So, therefore, ang... Elements na lang natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi kung babalikan natin yung kanina, meron siyang negative 1 and 0. Kasi ang sabi naman, set of integers. But this time, ang hinihingi niya lang ay positive integers. So, mawawala ngayon si negative 1 at 0. At may iwan lang nat sa set natin ay 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So, definitions regarding sets. A set is finite if the number of elements is countable. Ibig sabihin, kaya nating bilangin. Example, so even numbers less than 10, days in a week. A set is infinite if the numbers of elements cannot be counted. So this is the opposite of finite. Okay? So ito yung mga elements na hindi natin kayang bilangin. So halimbawa, even numbers greater than 20. So continuous siya, di ba? So hindi natin siya mabibilang. So therefore, this is an example of infinite set. Another, add numbers. Tuloy-tuloy din yun. So that is infinite. And then stars in the sky. We cannot count the stars in the sky. So that is an infinite set. Now, for equal and equivalent sets, ano naman ang pagkakaiba nitong dalawa? Equal sets are set with exactly the same elements and cardinality. Now, when we say cardinality, yung bilang ng elements sa loob ng isa ng set. Okay? Pag binilang mo yung elements niya, that is referring to the cardinality. Now, ano ba ibig sabihin ng equal sets? Example, so I have here set A, C, A, R, E, set B, R, A, C, E. So, pag sinabi natin same elements, pareho silang may C, pareho sila may A, pareho silang may R, pareho silang may E. So, pag sinabing same elements, regardless of its uh, order or position, okay? Basta pareho silang may C, A, R, E. So, ayun. Pareho sila ng laman. At the same time, pareho sila ng cardinality. Pag sinabing cardinality, yung bilang. Okay, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is an example of equal sets. Now, when we say equivalent sets, these are set with the same number of elements or cardinality. So, ano ang nawala? Pag sinabing same number, cardinality lang ang tinutukoy na to. Okay, nawala ito. Okay, so yun ang pagkakaiba nila. Ang equivalent sets, hindi pareho ang elements, but they have the same number of elements o yung tinatawag nating cardinality. Halimbawa, in set A, I have A, E, I, O, U. For set B, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's obviously magkaiba ang laman ng elements, Pero kung bibilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pareho silang may tiglimang elements. And this is an example of equivalent sets. Now, remember that an equal set is also considered as equivalent sets. Bakit? Kasi pare ang, sabi, ang definition ng equivalent sets, same number. 
all cardinality. Since same number sila ng or pareho sila ng cardinality, equal sets are also equivalent sets. Okay? Now, joint sets are set with common elements o yung tinatawag nating intersection. So, pag sinabing common elements, pareho silang merong elements na yun. Halimbawa, so meron akong set A, C-A-R-E. For set B, B-E-A-R-S. So, pareho silang may A, pareho silang may R, pareho silang may E. So, they have common elements. So, kapag meron silang common elements, o yung tinatawag nating intersection, magmimit yan ngayon sa gitna kung ipapakita natin siya using Venn diagram. So, that is an example of joint sets. Now, this joint set is just uh, the opposite of joint set. So, these are set with no common elements. Walang pagkakapareho. So, halimbawa, I have, for set A, I have ABC. For set B, I have EFG. So, this is considered this joint set kasi wala silang parehong elements. So, kapag wala tayong parehong elements, pag in-illustrate natin to using Venn diagram, hindi sila magkakaroon ng intersection. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.